you know, hey, at least he's he's getting with the times, you know. He's he's at least accepting okay. it. Well, now they have an app. The Catholic Church has come out with an app. It's called Click to Pray. And you click it, and you can, it seems like you can live stream him fucking praying. You can pray with him. Okay. Like you can hear him praying live stream or something along that on your app. I don't know. All right. But I thought it was kind of cool, you know. For for a long time, the Pope was the one who was kind of still stuck in the Dark Ages, who kind of made a lot of comments here and there. You know what I mean? And I'm not being disrespectful to anyone in the Catholic faith. It says now it was it was refreshing to see uh, the, a leader of the Catholic Church that was you know pro technology that was like, hey, check this out, we can reach more people. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So that's my good fucking news. That's Tell my them to get a tablet, watch Pornhub, and stay away from the kids. Right, Whoops. pray I with mean, the fucking Pope, don't forget. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't help it. <laughs> so, See, this is why we stay out of religion, because we, yeah. We fuck it up. Yeah. Let's be yeah. honest with it, you know what well, I mean? I, I, I'm a fucker-upper, I mean, that, that, that that's what I that's do. That's what we, we do. Things up. Hey. Listen, nobody can be a bigger <laughs> fucker-upper than us. I mean, listen, we even have our own show we fuck up. Pretty much. Uh, so, in fact, we even got called on that. I mean, and that's why we had to. If you notice that tales from the guard check is missing episodes, uh, we were pointed uh, somebody that I respect a lot gave me a call and told me, "Hey, motherfucker, what the fuck are you doing?" And blah, blah, blah. and I said, "Oh, yeah, you know, you're right." Uh, I had to read the quality on some of that shit was really bad, but uh, yeah, the content of the we're episode because upper. I'm a fucker upper. I fuck things up. But anyway, I really, you know. I want to redo that specific episode because you were talking about the relationships that we cultivate and build because right. right here and then and there, once again, we're talking about those relationships that we cultivate and build. You see, this person was watching out for uh, the nine-year-old self of me <laughs> right? and uh, gave me a call and gave me an earful on the phone and I was like, oh shit, you're right. What the we fuck? took our big old slice of humble motherfucking pie or oh, crow. Fuck yeah, and I am very grateful that I have angels like this watching over me. So you know, I have a usually I have a lot of you know I I need to have a lot of a level of respect for someone to call me the way this person calls me. You know, Ooh, I Lord, am very tell grateful. me about it. I am very grateful for what happened. So big ups to that and uh, made sense. But anyway, I want to redo this episode in a much more quiet environment where everything can be heard. And, episode where we talk about how you know building uh, relationships and how th that episode was pretty good it was just not the quality was not you know right. was not there so so this person knows who he is a uh, he, thank you that's all i can there say yep yep can't thank you enough so uh so and we yeah, go from that we mm -hmm. go from that all right all right because my phone died and i'm, I'm gonna forget this shit if i don't say it all right once again, big ups to our friend, but the story has nothing to do with you because Tennessee man was working for one of these, I don't know what the fuck you call it, like uh, the company's like hmm. uh, kind of like a ride share where you, they go to the restaurant, pick the food up and they take it to the person yeah. all done over the phone and the app and shit like that. There's a, I know there's a bajillion of them and I don't know which one this guy was working for, but one of them. All right. Well, I've used one of these apps before, right. and you can put the tip on there right when you order, so it's all good to go. So the nice. person, you know, like I ordered it for, for my wife, and, and she was having a rough day. I said, you know what, fuck, I'm going to order breakfast for her from her favorite place. And, mm -hmm. you know, I threw, the, you know, I ordered it to give the address, whatnot, put my credit card in there, put the tip on there, and, and you know, away it went. It was all good to go. She didn't have nothing to do but sign for that. She got it, and that was it. And yeah, okay. So, anyways, this guy and this young lady uh, were, were taking an order from okay. uh, a Mexican restaurant and right. we're going to deliver it. And we're upset because the person that placed the order only gave an 89 cent tip. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, before I go any further, don't ever do this bullshit to, to anybody. If you're going to tip, tip at least a dollar or two. If you're going to do it, or nothing at all. I I guess because I used to drive a cab at one point in time, and the cab companies usually fuck you up. So, I mean, a lot of the times your tips is really 
the only real money you make. I mean, because by the right. time you're done. So I understand the whole tipping thing. So, you know, sometimes, I mean, to me, if I can't tip at least 15% of the, the bill, I, I make it a point not to go out and eat and so, right. order shit like that. Cause I mean, if, or, or don't order it at all. But like yeah. an 89 cent tip, that's, that's a slap in the face to a lot of people. Yeah. It's... You know what I mean? Like I, they almost would have rather just have been stiffed and just been that. Yeah, but yeah. these people took it upon themselves to. Well, uh, it was a, there's a video out there. Um, I don't know if we want to put it up on our site because it may offend some people. Okay. You don't really see anything, but anyways, he gets mad, and he's like, "This is what you get when you tip eighty nine cents on a, on an order," and he opens up their cup of salsa. And he pulls his balls out and he puts it in their salsa. And then puts the lid back on and then proceeds to give it to the customer. Now, you don't see anything, but you know what's going on. Okay. See, this see? is why I've always, after, especially after watching the movie Waiting, uh, yep. I'm very nice to the wait staff. And like I said, if you're going to order something, you know, be a good tipper. But They say you're going to be charged with, I don't know, whatever you... I don't know, putting your balls in salsa. Uh, I don't know what your uh, sex act gone wrong. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, you know, they catch Do you that. on the street. Uh, you got to register as a sex offender. That's it. Since he, but that, that was dumb on his. Well, see what I'm saying? I guess there was he didn't have an angel watching him to tell him not to put his balls, right. in, not to put that video up. So <laughs> I don't know, man. But some people, I swear to yeah. fucking Christ. But, ladies and gentlemen, take care of your people Take bringing you food. Or yeah. next time, you ain't going to see the video of him dunking his balls in your food. <laughs> oh, gosh. You never fucking know. No, the, yeah, no. Like I said, uh, the movie Waiting, uh, the, which uh, triggered a whole other thing at one of the places we used to work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, taught me that, hey, when you go out and eat, yeah, I'd be nice to the wait staff because you don't want extra guacamole or what was the other one? Parsley or Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, that yeah. Or gravy. Gravy, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You, yeah. yeah. If you haven't seen the movie, go for it. Rent it. Download it. Buy it. Whatever. It's a, it, it, what is it, like 2005 movie? Yeah, it, it, it's a long time ago. It's about a group that wait, waits tables at like it's an Applebee's or Reds, a Fridays so or some shit like that. Candy, I guess. Yeah, and, yeah. and for I don't know, it's it's one of the best movies out there ever, hands down. It, and it, it, like I said, it's funny. It's uh, yeah, disgusting at some points in time, but it's also educational. I think it. I think it's a, you know, a PSA. I I, I, I really I, do. I think the whole I made it public a point service to, now. When I was dating Mrs. Pato, I made it a point to show her that movie. I'm like, we go out to eat, be nice to the waitstaff. Then this is why. And exactly. We watched that movie. <laughs> I'm like, this is why. <laughs> you do not want your food to get fucked with. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there, be nice to your waitstaff. You don't have yep. to be overly nice. Like, don't don't patronize. But at least like, hey, how you doing? Exactly. You know, when they're like, hey, I'm so-and-so, I'll be your waiter tonight or waitress tonight. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, no, how you doing today? You know what I mean? Like, in, I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, just just be nice to them, God damn it. Just normal human being shit, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's about all the news I have that's, uh, right. that I can dip into. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, how, see what I did there? <laughs> I can dip into it. <laughs> dip into, yeah. Okay, well, let's not. <laughs> That's just. I see, man. Hey, uh, all right. Well, so, let's see. the only other. Do you have anything you want to do or uh, bring up? No, no, just the Umbrella Academy that I know lifed with uh, the 11 year old. He brought it up to me. He's like, there's something called the Umbrella Academy. And at first I was like, oh, well, let's see. Uh, Let's take a look at it. It's from Dark Horse Entertainment, so that caught my attention. Yeah, I love Dark Horse comics. Yeah, they're Dark the Horse ones comics. that that came out with Conan the comic comics. 
the comics, yeah. So definitely that caught my attention. So I started watching, and then I got hooked. And now, uh, was was Dark Horse a division of Marvel, or did they get bought? I don't they think get so. Bought? Isn't that though? They, they they that's Hellboy's, right? Yeah, I, I think Hellboy. I don't know. Hold on, let me let me look it up real quick because I I want to say there was some kind me. of a some kind of um. I don't know whether they were in talks or something. I, I'm pretty sure there was something. Maybe it was just with the character of Conan, and that's all. Hmm. Let's see. Umbrella Academy. Let's see. Oh, they man. I need to go to a comic book store, dude. <laughs> like, this is why I don't go to this size, because then I start craving. I get um, lost when I go into a comic book store. Like, I, when I go, I just need to be left alone. Like, don't make make sure I don't have nowhere to be. Yeah, definitely. Hellboy, Hellboy BPRD, the Umbrella Academy, uh, Cuphead. That looks interesting. <laughs> that looks like something stupid I would have come up with, but hey, you know. <laughs> okay, anyway, I got to check that out now. All right. Yeah, Dark Horse Entertainment uh, put out the Umbrella Academy. And like I said, I know life did because I got hooked. Right. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to. I talked about it in the uh, the powerhouse, but uh, I'm not spoiling it. It's still too fresh. You need to watch it. One thing I will say, though, uh, one of the characters there, the one that can talk to dead people. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at him, and I was thinking, even though, I don't know, I hope I don't catch any help because some people might be saying that what I'm, you know, anathema, what I'm about to say. But if they ever did a reboot of Pirates, that fucker could play Jack Sparrow. I don't know, or maybe I uh, maybe I was drunk when I was watching it, but <laughs> that might have been it too. No, actually, no. If you look at the kid, he does have this young Johnny Depp, or actually, not even Johnny Depp. I guess uh, you know Johnny Depp gives Jack Sparrow this certain twist that makes him look. I don't know. Obviously, in this movie, the in the Umbrella Academy, this character is gay, so it's very yeah. I know the character uh, you're talking about. I watched the first episode and part of the second. But I didn't know if that was a, a show I could watch around around the girls. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, my biggest fear was was not violence. My biggest fear was if there was uh, overt sex, sex actually stuff. Actually, there isn't. And you know how Mrs. Pato and I are about that kind of stuff. Uh, right. That was my biggest fear. To, we, don't want, we don't mind if they watch like violence and stuff like that. We just don't want our kids to grow up to be pervs. Right. <laughs> that, that's, isn't, like, that, isn't that wild how that is? Like, uh, yeah, oh, you, you can grow be, up and fucking be a slasher, but you better goddamn it not be a fucking pervert. Exactly. You can grow up to be a hitman, a serial killer, but hey, you you grow up to be a perv, motherfucker. And if you're going to be a, hit, uh, a, a hitman or a contract killer, you better hook me up with some cool toys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway. No, I like I liked what I've seen so far. Uh, what I have seen so far, though, is leading my mind into different directions. And, and what I mean by that is, these characters are flawed, but in a different way than what Marvel would flaw or DC would flaw their characters. Oh, and, yeah. and, and that's we, you have to watch it to really understand what I'm saying. But I think that's uh, what very, I found refreshing. Yeah, I'm very big on on characters. Like, I want to know their story. I want to know what makes them tick. I want you to focus on them enough to where I can I can feel what they're what they're going through or what they're trying to express. And, and the first episode, you really just kind of get to see, yeah, them. And the second I mean, episode, you start delving more into who they are. Yeah, like, so. like, like most series, it's it, it, it. You have to give it at least three episodes to to, right. to get into it. It's like I said, I started watching it. I was like, okay, cool. Then uh, by second, third episode, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I couldn't stop. So, no life did. It. It's pretty good. I definitely hope they make a second season. I look forward and, to it. And since it's Dark Horse, it doesn't belong to the mouse yet. Uh, maybe it'll stay on Netflix and they'll continue making. Yeah, there was some talk about 
Dark Horse been in trouble now that Disney bought out Fox, but there's no, I just looked up, there's no confirmation on any, anything. And it yeah. does look like the character Conan, uh, the barbarian character, is going back to Marvel. So we'll see what happens with that. 